Hey, what's happening, guys? It is uh, Sunday, August 12th, as I'm doing this video, and I haven't slept since Friday. If you guys don't know what's going on, uh, my mom's got the coronavirus, and with her other conditions, her outcome is not looking very good. So you're saying, why am I doing this video at all? Well, because I, I got to get my mind off of it. Anyway. There's my mom and Blake. That was from three years ago. All right, we're going to open some packages today. Let's get into that. All right, I figure we haven't opened any packages up in a long time. Um, these are from the U.S. They're from a company called Amerabox. I ordered them off of eBay. We'll, we'll check out the listings. The shipping times from China right now are so long, I just couldn't wait. And I wanted to get some stuff to open. And, you know, so I just looked around. I found this seller. They have a lot of electronic stuff. And I just picked a few things I thought would be interesting. So let's start. This is a little microphone board. That doesn't want to open. Hold on. All right, first up. We got one of these little microphone boards. I believe these only output a voltage, like they pick up, you know, the, the sound waves, but I don't think they output sound. So you would use this as like some sort of a, a sensing circuit as opposed to an audio circuit. Now, like I said, we'll take a look at the end uh, at the listings, but uh, I paid three ninety five for this. It runs on five volts. Whoops. Come on, focus. There we go. There are connections, analog zero, ground positive and digital zero, and then we have a pot there for adjusting the threshold. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but we'll figure something out. If you got ideas, put them down below. All right, up next, we've got a Nano. I mean, it's not really a Nano, it's a Nano compatible board. And yeah, it's got no no labels on it at all. But uh, I forgot to try one. Because I've had good nanos. I've had bad nanos. You know, it's the pick of the day in the Shenzhen markets as to what you're going to get. Like some of them have this capped on tape on the USB port. Some don't. So I don't know. Because I figure all this stuff comes out of the same factory. You'd think they would be uh, processed the same. But you never know. Anyway, this is called... Uh, Mini USB Nano 3.0 AT Mega 328P CH340G microcontroller board with USB cable. And, you know, there's no USB cable in there. So I ended up paying $6.95 for a stinking Nano. It'd been all right. I mean, it's still been a little bit expensive, but it would have been okay if there was a USB cable. I got the heavy end of the stick on that one. All right, next up is a little relay module. And this is for, uh, it says ESP8266, 12 volt, one channel, Wemos D1 Wi-Fi relay shield development board. I don't think there's an ESP8626. I can't even talk. You know what I mean. Is there? Oh, no, no, okay. I got it. This is like the shield for the D1, and you can pop that on there. Okay. Woo. Anyway, these were $4.75 each. Yeah, it doesn't come with any information. Like I said, we'll move over and take a look at the stuff at the end. Okay, I lied. They did send a cable. But when you see what's at the end, this ain't the cable. Look at this. Look at this piece of crap. I know. What do you expect? I know. I know. But I expected the blue shielded cable that is in the picture. Not that sh crap. Crap. See how's YouTube friendly? All right. And next up, what do we have? Well, we got a nano breakout board. Why, Paul? You make your own. I wanted to see how the other guys, other guys did it and, frankly, steal some of their ideas. That's kind of how this works. All right, so this is a Nano IO Breakout Expansion Board Shield for Arduino Nano. 
perfect fit, easy access, five bucks. You get five of mine for five bucks. <laughs> and finally, I got some rosin uh, solder, or, uh, flux. Soldering paste, advanced quality, joint high intensity, good immersion, natural pH 7 plus 0 0.03. So that means it's caustic or acidic. I can never remember. No poison, good insulation, smooth welding surface, no deterioration, no dry. So if this is pine resin, which I'm pretty sure it is, we should be able to dissolve it in some alcohol. Ooh. Okay, so what did I say, resin or rosin? Because if I remember correctly, resin refers to any semi-solid um, paste that's generally synthetic, and rosin is manufactured from pine trees. So I hope that, yeah, this is rosin, I believe. I have the alcohol, but I got some acetone. Should do the same thing. We're just looking to uh, dissolve that rosin. So let's see if it works. Oh, wow, this stuff is soft. Usually the stuff that you get is like rock hard. This is, this is like um, Vaseline, petroleum jelly here in the U.S., I have no idea how much I should be putting in there. That's what makes this fun. See, because now we're doing science, right? You know, the difference between screwing around and science is taking notes. All right, let me get one more snot locker, snot load out of here. Yeah, baby. That's some snotty looking stuff there. So we'll give that. Oh, yeah, it's dissolving. Give it a minute to dissolve. Let's go over to the computer and uh, take a look. All right, first up on our eBay smorgasbord is the Nano. And you can see that is definitely not the cable they sent us. The one they sent us was little and black and not shielded, so. I have blue cable, so that's probably what we will end up using. Pin headers are pre-soldered. Yes, they were. <laughs> okay. All right, so that's that, and it was uh, $6.95. I'll put links down below. Don't worry. All right, here's our uh, relay. And even though it says it's for a D1, you can use it with anything. It's just not going to fit as conveniently. So these were $4.75 each. That's telling you how to wire them up, but you, you can find this information easy enough. I'm sure I've got a couple videos at least showing them. Then we have the breakout board, which was $4.95. Perfect fit, I'm sure. So yeah, I, I just want to see their I want to take a look at their their circuits and their traces and see what they did. Then we have our microphone. Information about that. Three millimeter mounting holes, five volt DC analog output, threshold flip level output. All right, I can translate that. Um, there's probably a comparator on there and it's gonna look when the uh, voltage rises above or below that line, it'll trigger a flip flop. Yes, I speak a little Chinglish, not much. High sensitivity microphone, power indicator. Yeah, there you go. Comparator output has indicator light. <laughs> like, I, like I studied this shit or something. All right, then we got 50 grams of smooth resin. Professional use. Best value. Yeah, that's what it looked like. What do you look like? You look like that. Any information? <laughs> no. Only that it, uh, no, what does it say? No what? No deterioration, no dry, no poison. Five dollar. <laughs> All right, so here's the listing. Molens DIY Electronics Component Kit. So I don't really need to read all that, do I? It's 39 bucks. And it looks like it comes with some good stuff. Let's go find out. So the resin has 
ceased dissolving, it looks like. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We will let that go and uh, come back to it another time. We'll pack up all these goodies here. And one more thing to show you. And uh, this is a gift I got in the mail from my friend Mobius Fan. Thank you. And it is an electronic component kit. I believe you got this off my Amazon wish list. So thank you very much, Jim. I hope you got the kits. I hope you're enjoying them. And I do have kits back in stock. They just came in yesterday. Um, just send me an email, arduino0169 at gmail.com. I've, I've got to populate them, so it's going to be a few days before I get them out. But I have them back in stock now. Ten bucks a piece. Right now, U.S. only. I'm sorry. It just costs so much to ship them overseas. I'm selling these for 10 bucks. I'm going to make about $3 off of it. So if I had to ship them overseas, I'd, I'd have to sell them to you guys for whatever your equivalent of about $30 is. And that's just ridiculous. All right. On to the box. Oh, my. Sorry. I'm shaky as can be. Of course it's taped. Tell you one thing. I understand now how people get killed accidentally with the police. Friday morning, I was sitting working in front of the computer, which is right next to the front window of my house, and I look out the window, and the Toronto police pull up. I was like, huh, okay. No, they're not after me. So, why are they coming here? Well, my, my brain says they're coming to tell me somebody's dead. Well, my mother's in a hospital. Somebody would have called me. Then I'm thinking, well, that's the same time Blake goes to school. He just had, he had an accident. I hope he didn't have another one. So, the guy comes and knocks on my door. He's looking for the house next door. I'm like, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? If that had been something different, if that had been like warrant service, and they busted down my door... A hell of a weekend, guys. Hell of a weekend. Or, yeah. All right, so we got some proto boards. I, these are nice. I use them a lot. Like when I we did the rocket launcher boards, I use these. I should do a tutorial on how to use these. Great idea. Lots of little ceramic capacitors. Electrolytic capacitors. Lots of electrolytics. Cool. There's a lot of capacitors here. More electrolytic? No, no, these are... <coughs> pardon me. All right. More capacitors. And before we go any further, now that it's becoming fall, I'm going to warn you. There better not be any mentions of pumpkin anything on this channel. And if there is, my bud Joey from up Nova Scotia. Good day, eh, Joey? We're going to come down to your house and sing you Canadian dog sledding songs. Just remember that when you feel the need to pumpkin spice something. All right, we got some trimmer type uh, potentiometers. Good. Mm, these smell, smell diodey. Yeah. We got Zenners, silicon junction diodes. More? Oh, wow. Trimmer capacitors. Lots and lots of resistors. Like I said, we'll look at the value. Transistor TO220. Oh, yeah. That's the package, Paul, you dumbass. So, I can't see. I'm blind. Maybe we can enlarge it in the camera. Stick it in the camera, man. I'd like to have some. You read what that says? 70. Oh, those are voltage regulators. Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of them. Cool. And LEDs. I have a place for these. They're going to go right in the kit. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go look at that. I have to look at it here. There's what you got. Oh, I can't read that. My eyes are so bad. Yes, I have glasses on. Problem is I haven't slept in two days. Having panic attacks. 
My heart rate's about 150 beats a minute. All right. There we go. That gives us a better view. So the kit includes 1,818 pieces of the most important. Yeah, right. We have 820 uh, quarter watt resistors, 1% tolerance. Uh, 300 pieces ceramic capacitors, 50 volt, 120 pieces <laughs> aluminum electrolytic capacitor. I'm sorry, there are people fighting outside my window. Uh, 180 pieces TO92 transistors, 200 pieces 3 5mm LED, 100 pieces diode, 4 pieces prototype PCBs, 13 pieces 30. 296 watt adjustable potentiometers, 65 pieces RMO63 adjustable resistance, 16 pieces voltage regulators, 100% compatible with Arduino, Uno, Mega. I bet you it's compatible with all the Arduino boards. But they didn't know that, did they? Uh, comes in a storage case. Yes, it does. All right. So I would like to thank you guys for your support and the patrons who we use to purchase this stuff their support we don't use them that's illegal uh thank uh jim for the stuff and uh thank you guys for your support it means the world to me it's a it is a lighthouse guiding me through these foggy times that is just cheesy as hell but i'm sorry that's the way i feel so grateful that you guys are here and you know i can do this all right that's it for today. God bless all of you, man. Peace.